So what I'm presenting on is the line fish and fish. <laughs> Go back. Alright. The lionfish has few natural predators to control its population, which is pretty obvious considering that how huge fish there are. Because <sighs> Alright. The lionfish is not exactly calm natured. Oh, who am I presenting? I am presenting to the government of Florida. What? They have poisonous spines and fearless dispositions, and all this is causing it to be dangerous to swimmers, divers, even other fish. They can eat just about anything that they can fit in their mouth. They can and will eat it. And, well, they can eat up to anything probably over half of their body size. Lionfish is a problem due to being in places that it should not be. Uh, and they're eating very important species in those places, like Florida and the Atlantic Ocean. Alright. <laughs> and as for they can eat anything that they can fit into their mouths, and anything that's up to half their size. This is causing a major effect on many different species. Alone with how many lionfish there are, they could probably wipe out about an entire species by themselves. Solution one, which is a solution that I don't necessarily agree with, but what is being done about it currently? What's being done about this currently is other people are catching lionfish and cooking them and eating them. But they have 18 very poisonous needle-like fins and spines on them. And I don't see why you would want to put something in your mouth that is poisonous. Frankly. No. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> oh. does, does that really look really appealing to you? Yes. <laughs> My solution is to find and create a bait specifically designed for the lionfish to be able to take down their species, to eliminate some of the problems, to take down some, not all of their entire population but enough to where it's stable enough for them to be able to live. Instead of just completely getting rid of them. Because we don't want species going extinct. Which is why we're trying to do something about it now. <sighs> Alright, overall, this situation very much needs to be resolved. I mean, sea life everywhere, all over the Atlantic Ocean, in Florida, which... And I know this seems, it would be hard. And I know there are weaknesses to my solution. But those can be fixed with help. And I can't do that if I don't have help. And I'm done. Questions? I will allow two or three questions. Okay, can I, can I see the solution again? Just, yeah. just to Mine or the other one? Yours. Alright. I'm sorry. So you want to have a bait specifically for them and you're going to see poison? 
Yes, to be able to take down some of the population without completely making it extinct. Once it's down to a manageable size that's stable enough for the environment and for them, then we could take it out until it would be safe. I haven't heard from Kara in a while. Let's get Kara's question. Um, about like the bait thing, how are you going to make sure that it's specifically for the line fish and doesn't attract the fish? Well, we're going to see, try and test it out and see what attracts the lionfish most. See what lionfish would mainly go for and what their main preference is and what they eat and put it for that specific, and put it in the places of where the lionfish mainly are. Did you say earlier that you eat like Basically, but there's some, there are certain things that are mainly what they are attracted to. They can, they can and will eat anything but that does not mean that they do not have a personal preference.